Hi everyone, Clank Cons back for another movie update again. And today's video, this is going to be a VHS and DVD update for June 7th, 2019. And like I said, um, yesterday, when, yesterday, Thursday, um, today's Friday, um, yesterday on Thursday, I went out to Half Price Books, like I said, and I picked out new movies. I got 8 VHS tapes and 9 DVDs, so yeah. And... I was going to make a video yesterday, but I, but I got lazy, so I decided to it, do it today. So, yeah. Share the movies that I got from Half Price Books yesterday. So, yeah. I would... So, I got... Yeah. I, I have 8 VHS tapes and 9 DVDs, so... I have, like, 17 movies to show you. So, yeah. So, anyways, let's stop. Let's stop wasting time. Let's get on to the movies. We're going to start with the VHS tapes, which... VHS tapes, one's in a clamshell, and seven are slipcovers. So, yeah. So, let's get this started. Here's the one and only clamshell. I do like the Muppets, so I decided I went ahead and get this tape. I do have a few other Muppets tapes. December 17th, 1993. So that was printed on, I believe that was printed on my dad's 22nd birthday that year. So yeah. Now let's go on to the slip covers. We got seven of these. Top's a bit teared, but that's okay. Nineteen thirty six MGM movie renewed in nineteen sixty three. I believe April twenty fifth, nineteen ninety. This is my second Hollywood Pictures Hollywood Stars VHS tape I have. The other one I have is Operation Pentecote. This is a 1947 movie. This is a 1989 VHS. Don't really see a week in your co on this tape. Comes with business reply mail from Republic Pictures, which is pretty cool, even though this already expired, I believe. This is a Hemmendale film released on video by HBO Video. Sorry the camera's shaky. Two print dates, September 26, 1989 and September 23, 1989. Formal from Video Pizza... Pizza Z, where you pronounce it. This is a 
This is my third New World videotape I have. The other two I have are Transylvania, Transylvania 6 5000 and Fraternity Vacation. Has that sticker right there. There used to be a sticker right here, but I got torn off. I don't know if this tape was a former L or not, but yeah. This tape has a preview for the for the first Hellraiser movie at the beginning. Never really heard of this movie until I found it, but it does seem interesting, so I said I went and bought it because I've never heard about this movie. I do like Christopher Plummer and Maggie Smith, so yeah. Nineteen eighty four movie, but this feature is released in nineteen eighty six, and this is a PG thirteen movie, one of the earliest PG thirteen rated movies. I do know Red Dawn was the very first. Here's a tape with the tan lid. Has a print date, June 30th, 1986, and as you can see here, it's got the Vestron video sticker with the big V, and I did, and this tape actually has the, has the 1982 or 83 Vestron home video logo, the big V version, instead of this, instead of, instead of the, this version, so yeah, so I think this might be one of the last Vestron video tapes to use the big V logo, so yeah. And next up is another movie I've never heard about. This is an EMI film, and 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 this tape has the Cinema Five logo at the beginning. And this video and this was released on video by RC Acclaim Pictures Home Video. The labels say 1983, even though the box says 1984, and this is an early RCA Claim Pictures home video tape, so I couldn't pass it up. And it's printed off the 13th week of 1984, and a former L for some unknown video store. And this tape does have the extreme, has the rare 1982 RCA Claim Pictures home video logo at the beginning, so yeah. And here's the last feature tape for this update. This is a French movie. I believe this has English subtitles. I heard this is supposed to be really funny. I heard this is supposed to be a pretty funny French movie, so I said so I went ahead and bought it. I believe Criterion has released this movie on DVD and Blu-ray. It's from 1953 and it says 1957, the revised version. This is a 1984 VHS. And Long Ago Tomorrow is a 1970 movie. And it says 1977 for there for some odd reason. That's it for the 8 VHS tapes. Now let's go on to the 9 DVDs. In my last update, I got Blue Collar coming toward the movie and the third Blue Collar concert film. Now I got the second one. And the second one and third one are... From Parallel Entertainment Pictures, released on DVD by Paramount, while the first one's by Warner Brothers. The 
This is the Criterion Collection DVD release of the Curi Curious Case of Benjamin Buttons, the Director's Approved Edition. Got this for 8 bucks, which is a really good deal. Heard this is supposed to be a really good movie, so I went ahead and bought this. And this is side number 476. And it says copyright 2009, but this movie came out in 2008. But the DVD is from 2009, and I, and this is a and this DVD is co-released by Paramount Home Entertainment. But this DVD was released by Criterion, so yeah. This movie is pretty much Criterion upon its home video release. Here's disc one, which is the film, and disc two, which is the bonus features. And this is the inside artwork, which is pretty cool. And here's the DVD guide. Hold on a second. And this is a Paramount film cursed by Warner Brothers. So yeah. I heard this is supposed to be a pretty I heard this is supposed to be a really funny British film, so I went ahead and got this. This is an MGM movie. And this is a flipper disc currently on the widescreen side. I know there's a 2010 American remake of this movie, which I might check out, but I don't know. So yeah. Nineteen thirty nine movie nineteen thirty nine movie for Warner Brothers. Steve these from two thousand six. And the next two DVDs are the two DVDs that I got from the $3 bin at Half Price Books. It used to be $2, but now it's $3 because they want more money. That's okay. It did have a $3 sticker right there. This was originally purchased for 4 or 5 bucks, but the sticker came off, so I got this for $3, so yeah. This is a DreamWorks movie, co-released by Spyglass Entertainment, and this movie does look pretty funny, so went ahead and bought this, because I do want to check it out. And this is one of the DreamWorks movies that was distributed by Paramount. And at the end of this movie, it has the text saying, distributed by DreamWorks slash Paramount Distribution at the end of the film, so yeah. I remember, I, I, I've seen this documentary before on HBO On Demand, and this was a pretty good documentary. This is about Robert Evans. So, yeah. 
And this is a focus feature movie, but it was released on DVD by Warner Brothers instead of Universal, which is pretty odd. However, the TV version I saw on demand had the Universal logo at the beginning. And but this DVD hat but this has the USA Films logo at the beginning, so yeah. I had this movie on VHS, but I decided to upgrade to DVD because I do like this movie. And this is a pretty fun movie. It's really hilarious. This movie is from Embassy Pictures. And yes, this is the original copy with the really cool, um, with the really cool, um, Silver disc, silver case. Most times you'll see the in the regular black case. The guitar center that goes. Goes to 11. But this already expired, I believed. And here's the business reply mail. I gotta put this, put this stuff all back together. And the last two DVDs are Three Stooges DVDs. This is Volume 2, which has the shorts from 1937-1939. I do have the first volume. So yeah. And for right now, I'm just going to complete my Three Stooges DVD collections with the Complete Collection series. So that's better with me. And here's the last DVD for this update. This is Volume 4, which has the shorts from 1943 to 1945. They, they didn't have Volume 3, but I might get that sometime. And they did have the other, the rest of the volumes, but I didn't feel like picking out all of them because I didn't feel like sp sp spend a lot on them. But maybe next time I go back to Half Price Books, I'll... See if I get another volume, or if I get some, or maybe sometime if I shop on Amazon again, I could get the rest.
And that's it for my VHS and DVD update for June 7th, 2019. And stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. So yeah.